How do you set up pumpkins and squash and tires? Hi there, this is Big Spruce Rabbitry and today I'll be setting up five stacks of tires for pumpkins and squash. Hope you enjoy! This is half a bale of straw that got a little wet. I'll be mulching the tires with this before putting any dirt in or fertilizer. closer so you can see what these look like. I added some rabbit opal to the bottom of each of these tire stacks. I didn't film it since it's pretty gross, but squash and pumpkins are very hungry plants and rabbit opal will add a lot of potassium and phosphorus to the soil naturally and now I'll add some rabbit manure which I will show you and that has the nitrogen so you've got all the plant macronutrients in each of these tires and since this is organic gardening with basically every part of the animal well you have all the micronutrients too. I'll come back later when I've got these guys filled up with dirt. All five towers are filled with dirt. I'm just going to cap them off with some rabbit manure. Let's head off to the greenhouse to get some starts. For my squash and pumpkin tire patch, I'm looking for five healthy winter type squash. We want big trailing vines and things that don't need a lot of maintenance that are going to get really big and I don't necessarily want near the house. So we we'll look in the greenhouse and see what I got. Spaghetti squash, that would be a good one. I've made my selection of squash. I'll go over what I got when we get back to the tires. So I'll take you on a tour of my squash and pumpkin plants as I get them planted. The first squash I have here is this turban squash I saved from seeds from the farmer's market. This is a small seedling I'm bringing out here today, but I have a lot of them that are about this age, and if this one fails, well, I have more. So I'll get this guy planted and hopefully it will do well out here in the tires. as 
long as they have enough room, are generally pretty happy to be grown in groups of two or three. That was a little bit too root bound, but can't do much about it now. It's free. Spaghetti squash was even more root bound. The next seedling we'll be putting in here today is this pumpkin. It doesn't look that good, but it got a little bit too root bound. I potted it onto this larger pot and it started to look a little bit healthier once it had enough room. Plus, there's another little tiny pumpkin coming up at the edge of the pot. So I'm hoping that one of the pumpkins will do well here. If not, I have more of these. The next squash we'll be putting in is another spaghetti squash. I saved the seeds from this one myself and I grew the parent plant. And this is the perfect stage to plant a squash, not root bound. And finally, this buttercup squash. I also grew the parent plant for this squash. are hot weather plants and it's still a couple of weeks before the frost free date so I hope I'm not going to live to regret having put in these squash plants this early. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and check out our farm store in the description.